So what I have here is a cylinder from Princess Auto. And what I want to do is cut it down. This, this cylinder cost me with taxes $102. And what I want to do is go over to this tractor and you can see I'm leaking oil and replace it. Now John Deere wants $525 for that little cylinder and I'm saying that's nuts. Even the dealer said well the best he could do with a discount was $425 plus 60 or seven or $52 tax so we're right back up almost to $500. Bucks. Um, just insane but it's an oddball but we're going to take that one over there and cut it down. So what I've done now is I've cut that uh, cylinder shorter and it doesn't need a lot of stroke. It's going to have, instead of five inches, I think I'm going to be four and a half. And I'm going to have to change one of the attachment points. But um, I've just trued it up in the lathe and uh, put a chamfer on here. I'm going to take, clean up the chips and uh, give it a test fit. Okay, since the uh, piston does all the heavy lifting on the opposite side, it was quite long in the um, cylinder. So I took... Uh, the, the overall piston is, is an inch thick. I brought it down to three quarters of an inch, so off the back side. So I'm just reducing the uh, size of the shaft. It's got to go into the um, socket or between the webs on the uh, snowblower. And once I get this machine down to one inch, uh, then I'll just cut it off and I'll bore a hole in it for the pin to go in. What I've done here is I'm just using my uh, milling machine. Uh, you better look. Just using it as a drill press and uh, bored a half inch hole through that. Uh, I was using regular drill bits and I just dressed it off with a half inch end mill for the last cut. So the cylinder is just about ready and uh, should be able to start assembling it. Okay, currently what I'm doing is making up the adapter to hold the new hydraulic cylinder. Um, because I couldn't get the cylinder to be as short as a, as a stock uh, John Deere one, I have to make this adapter which is going to put the cylinder out in front of the old OEM location. However, if I get a uh, OEM cylinder at a later date, I would be able to still ins uh, install it uh, without making any changes whatsoever. So, once again, I'm just using my milling machine as a, as a drill press and uh, cutting at a slow speed here. It actually uh, goes through quite well. Look, the, the chips are, are really uh, clean coming off. And there's a hole cut through. There's a slug. Worked out very well. This is the adapter I've made up, and it's got a um, one inch hole for the pin on the lift cylinder. Um, I'll probably take a little bit of this point off of here just while I'm welding it so that it has a little more penetration. And maybe I'll cut a little bit of this off on the top, but I don't need all this metal up here. So, uh, apart from that, we're just about done. Uh, next step will be to place it and weld it. So here now we have a dry fit prior to welding. I got to weld it all the way around here both sides and on the back and uh, Next thing we'll do is just put uh, Hydraulic fittings in and we should be all set to go Set up for the weld um, what I'm going to do is uh, Tack it on a couple of sides here and then remove it remove the uh, this hydraulic cylinder so I have better access. I'm going to use an exergon rod. It's basically a stainless rod uh, for unknown uh, alloys and it's good for about a 140,000 pound tensile so um, it should work quite well. Just another shot of the cylinder before I put it in. You can see it's been drilled out and we should be all set. Okay, um, got the new lift cylinder installed, 
painted up the bracket and uh, it's got it lifted and maybe we'll go around the other side the sun's shining through the shop window now when I position this bracket here that should have been level it's down a little bit the uh, cylinder wasn't fully extended so I could have probably got another inch lift I got five inches of lift out of it right now and that should do me fine uh, higher is nicer but uh, $500 plus tax is what I was up against so I'm happy with what it's gonna do and uh, the neat thing about it is is that um, the existing bracket is all the same in here and if I do come across the cylinder, I could pop this one off, change the fittings over, and I'm right back to the stock uh, setup.